All right, uh, Shalom. Before I start, let me give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shad, Bashem, Rukhak Rosh, the honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim, walk walking, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. This is going to be another video uh, through the Spirit. Uh, this video, it came from the clip of uh, this little prison video I happened to come by on YouTube, and how basically Esau Edom, his system, uh, the, the word of this video is going to be microcosm. All right, I'm going to get the definition for it. Uh, I'm going to get it off of the etymology, then off of Google. All right, so this is microcosm off of etymology. It says uh, microcosmos. <laughs> Literally, uh, you know, dealing with the word cosmos, uh, uh, the word uh, micros, meaning small in Greek, and cosmos. Uh, meaning a world, all right, not all of the world, but a particular lore, a particular world in which a this, you know, helps back up the fact of that John 3 and 16, how that word cosmos is not used in uh, a broader sense. And I'm going to read this definition, all right, it says modern form from early 15th century, it says human nature, man viewed as the epitome of creation, literally a miniature world, all right, yep, it says from Greek, small, uh, cosmos world it says general sense of a community constituting a world unto itself a little society so just a side little note the proving the fact that, that word cosmos in the greek that is shown up in john 3 and 16 it says what a little society all right not the whole world all right and to, to explain it in regular english terms i'll go to it in google now it says a community place or situation regarded as encapsulating a miniature encapsulating in miniature the characteristic qualities or features of something much larger all right so basically this word is basically seeing a big event or seeing an event go down in a smaller area that normally takes place uh in a bigger area let's see something real quick all right, so basically, you know, I was watching this clip with prison, and you have the Jake in there. I'm going to have the picture up. Jake are in there beating each other up, you know, showing each other the exact opposite of the brotherly love, which is that niggardly hatred, uh, you know, stealing from each other, thieving from each other. You have one person who's the boss of the whole pod, and everyone answers to him. Well, that's what it's like in regular day society. All right, the only difference is you're not getting closed off in a cell at the end of every night when you look at the average society what do you see you have one person in charge all right your boss and then you the prisoners the daggone employees doing what you're told you have people ripping you off charging you taxes all right uh, uh, then at the end of the night you have to go into your little room and suffer all right and try to get through every day without getting daggone put to death all right and esau that's how he likes to work so what we're seeing here with the mark of the beast, which is what I'm tying this into, this COVID-19 issue is a microcosm, all right? It's a, let me go to the word again. The COVID-19 is a encapsula, uh, is an encapsulating, is encapsulating in miniature, so making it seem small, the character, characteristic qualities or features of something much larger. So the COVID-19, which is something smaller, is showing you how the RFID system will be ran, all right? You won't be able to gain, gain entry unless you have the mark of the beast, all right? Right now, it's the, the either a mask or the vaccine, all right? Certain places, you know, certain jobs want you vaccinated. You know, you can't go into a place without a mask. You go somewhere, you get your forehead, forehead scanned. All right, Esau Edom is doing all these things to get everyone ready. All right, so let me get this scripture right here. Let me see. You know, and I, I used a lot of words. I had to bring those definitions out basically to lay the, the base for this video. Come on, Isaiah 29 and 15. It says, Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, and their works are in the dark. And they say, Who seeth us and who knoweth us? That's Esau Edom. Hey, the prison system... He didn't, you know, he put it together, you know, to make money and whatnot. But the prison system has been one big experiment. You know, what do, you, what do people do when you cram them up in a tight space? What, is, what, what would this race of people do when they're put next to that race of people? What is this, you know, uh, 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 
if we release um you know i was watching one of the clips they allowed so basically sewage water came up in the prison and all the prisoners you know were freaking out begging the the prison guards for help you know so hey, they've been using prison a microcosm a small little society that is a clone of big society to replicate the results that they want unto the world and so now they're releasing it that's why the things that hey the things are are we're seeing what we're seeing now in our world all right they've been getting this shit ready for a very long time now all right let's go to micah chapter 2 verse 1 it says woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds when the morning is light they practice it because it is in the power of their hands so these devils have the power to work these experiments to come up with these uh, inventions to do these little crafts to, to you know do this and do that they've been working on this for a long time now we've been seeing it in the movies all right we've been seeing it in the television all right your favorite game your favorite book all right was the saying that uh shakespeare had um how's it go um what is it what is it what is it uh the earth the the was it earth is the world stage all right or, or all the world is a stage basically all right, that's how Esau likes to play. He, he wants to be the one pulling the strings when he doesn't, you know, really, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is pulling the strings. But this guy down here is playing mad scientist with everyone's life force. All right, and we're seeing it now. Now that we get closer to the end, we're seeing what all these things were for. We're seeing why we went from a debit card, a debit card that you swipe to the cards with the chip in it. You know, instead of uh, a regular vending machine, now you, uh, you know, you, you swipe your hand over it. You, gotta, you have a watch on, you know, and, and it gives you your shit. Oh, that, too. And, hey, phones is, you know, getting threw out the window. Now you just got your daggone smartwatch, which they're getting people conditional with that. Smart, they, they, they didn't come up with smartwatches because they want you niggas to know time. They came up with smartwatches to get you conditioned to having to scan your daggone hand over something. All right. Hey, that video I did uh, a week or two ago with that forehead scanner at the gym. All right. Testing for your uh, man. I, I, where was I at the other day? I went somewhere the other day. Where was I at yesterday, dude? Dang. I went somewhere. I had to use the scanner thing, you know, to get in where I wanted to get in. They said this 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 person's temperature is under normal levels. It said that after it scanned my forehead to make sure I wasn't sick. You know, hey, they're getting this. They're getting this technology ready they've been waiting for it for a long time now this beast all right let's go to revelation he finally wants to erect that image for all of these assholes to worship revelation chapter 13 you know real quick video just something i've you know was contemplating on that word microcosm after i've seen that clip you know hey they'll put a uh, uh many of the experiments you know hey look up the pav uh the pavlik let me double check is it pavlik or pavlok i believe it's pavlok uh oh pavlov p p a v l o v look up the pavlov experiment the fact on how you could train a dog you know you, you bring a dog some food and then you ring a bell every time you bring him some food you ring a bell eventually you take away the food and you just ring the bell and what would the dog do the dog would start wagging his tail and drooling from the mouth because it, it's expecting food all right Esau Edom has been running his experiments, these little microcosms all over the world, to get everyone ready for the mark of the beast. All right, to, and he thinks he's gonna rule forever, or you know, however long. But we we know those in the truth know that it's gonna be to no avail. All right, so this is Revelation 13, and we're going to start at. Let's see. We'll start at verse 12. It says, And he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. Uh, was healed. All right. So he wants to cause everyone to worship uh, his image. All right. He wants everyone to fall down to this new world order. All right. Uh, uh, what is uh, uh, NATO, uh, EU, all right, the United States all in ruling form and fashion all under his thumb by by doing what the signification is what taking the microchip the mark of the beast which hey that's your upc your universal product code that's how he wants you to worship uh the beast that's how he wants you to bow down and fall down is this guy is Esau Edom? is all the police forces and the military are they all going to land out of the sky and say look everybody 
put your hands up in the air, get down on your knees, bow to the concrete and say you love America three times and then everyone go home. No, he wants you to take that chip to show your allegiance. All right, you'll be tracked. You, 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 your damn heart rates per second. All right, how tall you are, how tall you not, blood type. All right, and then the ability to uh, do transactions on it. It's all going to be on there. All right, verse uh, Revelation 13 and 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. All right, kind of. So those that don't uh, comply with it, he's going to try to take out. All right, hey, and you know, I can go look at, uh, you know, go watch videos like that TV show 60 Days In or uh, Beyond Scared Straight. The shit that goes on in prison is literally the only thing dividing the shit that goes on in prison out here on the outside is that we can go drive cars, you know, and there's a little bit less chance of you getting annually raped. And I say a little bit less because you can still get raped out here. All right. But, I, you know, I was watching it and I was just I was shaking my head, you know, uh, a, a bell goes off. Everyone goes and gets up and goes to get their food. What did you do in school? The bell goes off. You go get up, go to the next class or go to lunch. All right. Uh, 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 the CO come in, tell everybody to shut up. What does your boss do at work? What do the police do to you? You know, you, hey, Esau has been in the shadows, you know, smoothing things over. He's been working on this for a very long time now. Gone right here, and I'll end it on this one just to show you. All right, this is Ezekiel 28 and 3. It says, Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. With thy wisdom and with thine understanding, thou hast gotten thee riches and hast gotten gold and silver into thy treasures. All right, verse 5. By thy great wisdom and by thy traffic hast thou increased thy riches, and thine heart is lifted up because of thy, thy riches. All right, and this was being prophesied back then to, you know, Tyrus, ancient Tyrus, but this now fits America today through Esau Edom. All right, the elites that run this in the shadows. They, they, hey, it says they were wiser than Daniel. They figured out, you know, uh, how to get a jet into the air, how to get a submarine underwater, all right, how to drop a nuke on you from miles away and eradicate everything that was once there. And they've become proud in that to the point to where, a, hey, they've, they've tried to take on the mentality and our, and our ruling authority as if they are the Heavenly Father. They've tried to control and manipulate this world, which is why they created things like a prison, basically playing God, you know, forcing people when to go to sleep, forcing them when they can and can't eat, where they can and can't be, you know, and us in this regular society, the police on your forehead, you know, r rules here, regulations there, this dude is trying to play God on this earth, all right, and he was all doing it to get things ready for this system, but it's all going to turn around on his head here very soon. All right, so that's about it for this video. I just wanted to touch on that. You know, I noticed it <sighs> from watching that clip. That's what it put me in mind of. You know, so I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rukha Kurash, the monarchs to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Uh, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim. Wakwatim learning, teaching the truth and sincerity. I'm saying Shalom.